Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is solved problems of DS that is direct sequence spread spectrum. As far as numericals are concerned, I have made a list of formulae. Sirf itne formulae aap ko yaad rakhna hai, you will be in a position to attempt any numerical. So let me first brush up the formula which I have written. First is PE that is probability of error. It is one half ERFC that is complementary error function square root of eb by n0 which is same as 1 by 2 into 2 q square root of 2 eb upon n0 ye hum log numerical solve karte vakti discuss karenge how to make use of this formula next is processing gain ye last video mein bhi maine explain kiye ye sab concepts so processing gain definition is bit duration that is tb upon chip duration that is tc or it is chip rate that is rc upon bit rate that is rb next is jamming margin notation is j by ps formula is pz that is processing gain divided by eb by n0 then tb is related to tc as n times tc where n represents number of chips per bit and n is given as 2 raised to small m minus 1 where m is number of shift registers now let us solve the numerical first problem is Information bit duration in DS that is direct sequence BPSK spread spectrum communication system is 5 millisecond. Now be happy to it while reading the numerical itself you should note down the given values. So ye 5 millisecond diya hai, this is the value of bit duration that is given TB is equals to 5 milliseconds. We know it is 5 milliseconds means 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. Then Chipping rate is 1 megahertz. Chipping rate is actually RC which is 1 megahertz. And we know that megahertz is 10 raised to 6 hertz. So it is 10 raised to 6 hertz. But uh, we want to calculate value of TC. So TC is reciprocal of RC that is 1 by RC. So it is 1 by 10 raised to 6 that is 1 uh, sorry 10 raised to minus 6 or 1 microseconds. So it is 10 raised to minus 6 seconds. That is 1 microsecond. This is value of TC. Then average probability of error is 10 raised to minus 5. So given value of P, probability of error is uh, P 10 raised to minus 5. For proper detection, calculate jamming margin. Matlab ye calculate karna hai mein. Jamming margin given Q of ye value bhi question mein diya hai. Ye hum log discuss karenge use kaise karna hai. So first part, we need to calculate, see for calculation of jamming margin, formula number 3, I need value of PG and EB by N0. So first let us try to calculate PG, we have two formula of PG, but just now we have calculated values of TB and TC. So let us make use of uh, formula number 2, processing gain is TB upon TC, value of TB is 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon value of tc is 10 raised to minus 6 so processing gain will be 5000 this is the value of pg processing gain now we want to calculate value of eb by n0 for this we have to make use of these two formulae Ab dekho, given in the given question uh, value uh, value of Q is given, that is it is given as Q of 4.25 is 10 raised to minus 5. So let us write the formula number 2. So for PE, I will write this formula PE is equals to 1 half into 2Q square root of 2EB upon N0. From this, we can write value of PE is given as 10 raised to minus 5. So 10 raised to minus 5 is equals to this 2, 2 gets cancelled. Q of square root of 2 EB upon N0. Look at the given data. Given is Q of 4.25 is 10 raised to minus 5. We have this bracket term inside the Q that is this is Q of square root of 2 EB upon N0. From the given value, observe this given value. Q of 4.25 is 10 raised to minus 5. Q of this value is 10 raised to minus 5. So I can write square root of 2 EB upon N0 is equals to 4.25. 
to eliminate square root i will take square on both sides so i will get 2eb upon n0 is equals to 4.25 bracket square therefore eb upon n0 is equals to 4.25 bracket square divided by 2 so if you do this calculation value of eb by n0 is 9.0 3, 1. This is the value of EB by N0. Now, final aim is to calculate the jamming margin. We have the formula of jamming margin. So, jamming margin that is J by PS. This is the notation to calculate jamming margin, which is PZ upon EB by N0. So, I, first I will write the formula PZ upon EB by N0. That is 5000 value of PZ upon 9.031 so this answer will be 553.64 value of the jamming margin you should express in terms of db how to calculate value in db ye jo answer hai iska 10 log lena hai so i will write it over here uh, therefore j by ps in db is equals to 10 log of 550 53.64 so this answer will be 27.43 db so this is the value of required jamming margin next problem a spread spectrum communication system is characterized by tb that is uh, it is the given value of bit duration which is 4.095 milliseconds tc that is chip duration which is 1 microsecond. Yaha pe minne meaning leka hai harik symbol ka. Calculate processing gain and jamming margin if EB by N0 is 10 and probability of error is 10 raise to minus 5. Ab yeh straight forward numerical hai. Is mein dekho. Uh, first, uh, let us first try to calculate PZ that is processing gain. We have a ready made formula TB upon TC. So it is TB upon TC put the values so it is 4.095 it is milliseconds that is 10 raise to minus 3 upon tc 1 microsecond so microsecond means 10 raise to minus 6 so this value will be 4095 this is the value of processing gain now like the last numerical hum logo ne last numerical mein ye formula use kiya fir eb by n0 nikala that's why in the last numerical also pe probability of error was given this question may be probability of error ka value there but in this numerical you don't need this value you don't have to use this formula make the thing simple ab dekho jamming margin calculate karna hai so jamming margin is j by ps i am using this formula we have direct formula pz upon eb by n0 the value of eb by n0 is given in the question so not necessary to make use of first formula so directly put the values so it is 4095 upon eb by n0 is 10 so it is 409.5 now like the last numerical we have to calculate this value in db that is jamming margin in db is 10 log of 409.5 by default base of the logarithmic is 10 so if you solve this this answer will be 26.12 db so this is the answer of jamming margin Suppose in this problem, if it is asked to calculate number of shift registers, we have already calculated PZ is 4095. So we have to calculate how many number of shift registers are required. If it is asked, then I will explain how to do it. Value of PZ is 4095. Relationship between TB and TC is TB is N times TC, where N is number of chips per bit. So from this, I can write N is equals to TB upon TC but TB upon TC is same as PG that is processing gain which we have calculated which is 4095 so value of N is 4095 now I want to calculate how many number of uh, shift registers are used we have this formula N is 2 raised to M minus 1 so from this I can write 2 raised to M minus 1 is equals to 4095 where N represents number of shift registers Therefore, 2 raised to m is equals to ye 1 RHS may transfer karenge. So, it is 4096. I mean 4095 plus 1 ho jayega. So, it is 
4096 question arises how to calculate value of m for that you need to take log on both sides so i will write it like this log to the base m is equals to log 4096 therefore it can be written as log 2 raised to m can be written as m log 2 is equals to log 4096 therefore m is equals to log 4096 upon log 2 so if you solve this value of m will be equals to 12 that means 12 set registers are required now let us solve some different kind of numerical a bpsk dsss that is direct sequence spread spectrum system using coherent detection is used to transmit data rate at 250 bps ab ye jo value hai this is the given value of data rate that means it is the value of rb so rb is given as 250 bps and system has to work in hostile jamming environment with minimum error of performance of one error in 20000 bits is say probability of error kaise calculate karna hai make the thing simple we need to calculate value of probability of error kya question me diya hai one error in 20000 bits so probability of error is one error in 20000 bits that is 1 upon 20000 so this answer will be 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 This will be the probability of error. ये हमने इससे कैलकुलेट किया वन एरर इन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बिट से डिटर्मिन मिनिमम चिपिंग रेट मतलब आर सी कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं सो वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट आर सी इफ जैमिंग सिग्नल इज थ्री हंड्रेड टाइम्स स्ट्रॉगर दैन रिसीव्ड सिग्नल वॉट डज दिस मीन देखो ये जो फॉर्म्यूला है जे बाय पी एस ये फॉर्म्यूला पहले मैं एज इट इज लिखता हूं जे बाय पी एस ये फॉर्म्यूला है पी जी अपॉन ई बी by n0 but here j by ps j means jamming margin and ps is received power so you can well correlate it like this is jamming signal j matlab jamming signal is 300 times stronger than the received signal matlab hum log aise likhenge jamming signal is 300 times stronger than received signal so j is 300 times ps that is that is given in the question therefore j by ps can be written as 300 means indirectly it is given value of jamming margin okay so how to proceed uh, as far as this calculations are concerned ab dekho hum logo ko eb by n0 ka bhi value calculate karna hai we cannot use this formula because value of q is not mentioned in the question let us make use of the first formula so we have probability of error that is pe is 1 half complementary arc function square root of eb by n0 therefore we have calculated the value of uh, pe probability of error it is 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 which is equals to 1 half erfc square root of eb by n0 ab dekho value of q is not given similarly value of this erfc function is also not given in such cases you will be given some table us table mein aap logo ko ye check karna hai ki ye jo value hai matlab 1/2 arc function of square root of eb by n0 ye kisse match karti hai matlab ye check kaise karna hai jaise dekho aur simple banao isko ye 2 yahan pe transfer karenge to i can write it like this 10 raised to minus 4 is erfc square root of eb by n0 so what i said टेबल विल बी गिवन टू यू उसमें टेन रेस टू माइनस फोर किस चीज का कौन से सपोज इसको मैं एक्स मानता हूं कौन से वैल्यू का ईआर एफ सी का आंसर टेन रेस टू माइनस फोर है टेबल में चेक कर रहा है सो फ्रॉम दिस विल गेट वैल्यू ऑफ ई बी बाय एन जीरो इट इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव इफ टेबल विल नॉट बी गिवन देन डिरेक्टली दिस वैल्यू ऑफ ईबी बाई एन जीरो करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यू ऑफ ईबी बाई एन जीरो विल बी गिवन ऑल राइट फ्रॉम द टेबल विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ईबी बाई एन जीरो विच इज टू पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ईबी बाय एन जीरो नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी जी पी जी क्यों चाहिए हमें लास्ट स्टेप में हम लोगों को आर सी कैलकुलेट करना है वी हैव द फॉर्मूला of pc in terms of rc it is rc by rb but we have this formula j by ps is pg 
upon eb by n0 from this i can write pg is equals to j by ps into eb by n0 let us put the values j by ps is 300 into eb by n0 2.75 so this value will be 825 this is the value of pg now last part write the formula first so we have pg is equals to i am talking about this formula rc upon rb therefore rc is equals to pg processing gain into rp yeah rb yeah pe transfer kya simply put the values pg is 825 into rb is 250 which is given in the question 250 so therefore rc is equals to 206250 this is the answer of uh, required number of uh, required value of shipping rent so this is the way how to solve the numerical so you will be in a position to attempt any numerical so that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video